Hello everybody, this is Simon with the fourth episode of Let's Play Mega Man 3. After a great struggle, this ninja was made to vanish permanently. Now it's time to find out if a cancer like me is compatible with Gemini. I suspect though that this will only end in tears. Let's see what we got last time. Shadow Blades, as mentioned, are somewhat like Metal Blades, but worse. They can no longer shoot downwards, only one blade can be out at a time and has the boomerang, it doesn't pierce enemies and energy is no longer infinite. Still, as this first section is going to show, it's still the best weapon in the game. It deals as much damage as, th damage as three normal buster shots to most enemies, killing those rather tough penguins easily. And of course, shooting upwards is always great. You are useless. Why is he going to the ground? I don't know. Anyway, the eggs the penguins shoot out will explode, so take them out quickly. The section itself is a bit tricky, because you can easily get pushed into the pit by those flying guys if you're not careful. The best strategy, as always, is to take your time. Like here, this guy napped me a few times before I just said, okay, I will not hit him easily enough with the shadow blades, just go back. If you don't have the blades, this is the best tactic, just let them fire. And that was that. Hmm. An obstacle? Hey, are you going to fight with me again? No. You open a path. That's um, very nice of you. Thank you very much. But I think I'm going to take another one because this smells like a trap and... Okay, then I'll go down here. A little refill for those in need. And a part of the stage I really do not like. Yeah, these things are immune to most weapons and we'll have to take them out one by one. While little tadpoles that fly around will hinder us. Yeah, it's great to refill, but um, we don't really need this, and we also got a refill just now, and it's just supremely annoying. Uh, this is not one of my favorite stages, it's not even hard or anything, or frustrating, it's just tedious. If only we had a weapon that could kill swaths of those things in one, thi uh, in one shot. Ah well, this will have to be for a later date, I guess. Meanwhile, I can practi practice shooting at the right height and fail at it. Yay, free life! Not that I needed those. And the mandatory rush usage. I think they wanted to make really sure that you knew how to do the coil. But wait, I'm an idiot because I want to fill up my shadow blades. I've got the nagging feeling I'm going to need them later. Could be that I just chose a stage to show them off, but well... That's meter gaming for you. And rush again and we're finally done with that. A few more yambos and one hits, yes. Shadow Blades, as said, three normal buster shots that those guys would normally take. Oh my god, a giant killer death penguin that shoots out little versions of itself. Yeah, this guy is uh, very strange, and his hitbox is also very wonky. You cannot, you can only hit him at the rotating thing at the top, but I don't know exactly where. It's just at the peak of a jump with the normal shots. And um, Shadow Blades won't hit him for some reason if I jump. And shooting uh, diagonally upward is just suicide. Uh, come down with me. <laughs> uh, we'll see why later, in fact. Hey, water. Hmm. Didn't we get... Hmm. Oh, nah. Nah. Another mandatory rush coil usage here. And it's Shadow Blade's time to really shine. Again. This here is probably the hardest part of the stage, because you can get knocked off easily. And this is uh, how the level design actually works, to make Yambos not absolute jokes, because they're so slow. You have to be quick on your feet here, and not wait for them, because the fishes otherwise will shoot you down. Which is kinda nice, because this creates a lot of tension without being cheap. Eh. And I got very lucky here. And as you can see, it's not a death sentence if you get hit on those. 
and a freebie for mastering this. And, yep, those hitboxes are really small, and topspin is really great. Yeah, this is the biggest problem I have with the Mecha Karos, they're just so absurdly hard to hit. Anyway, this guy here guards the boss shutter, it's the big hopping mech dude that's in every Mega Man game. And I completely fail at hitting him. Yes, the timing is a bit tricky. Um, until I finally realized that I could just go up a bit and... Yes, I finally nail it and you can see Shadow Blades take him out very quickly. Those guys are actually not a problem at all, especially with the later weapon we're going to get. Whee! Whee! But this one is especially unthreatening, of course. And Gemini Man! And he is, of course, a Gemini, because there are two of him. He will always shoot when you shoot, that means the one of the two he's that is on the floor right now, or both, if they are both. And um, otherwise they'll always jump around the room in the same pattern. Meaning that this pattern can easily be exploited, like so. And when he reaches half health, one of them dies. This guy here reminds me a lot of Crashman because he always jumps when I shoot, meaning I'll just have to lure him into the shoot shots. The only thing he does differently is shoot out the Gemini laser. This thing creates a little bit of tension because you have to dodge it of course and him. But as you can see, this is really not hard at all. With a few timely slides and jumps over him, you shouldn't have any trouble. Dealer helps in this case even. And that is that, and we'll get the Gemini laser for it. This weapon is rather underwhelming because um, it has a great, great problem that is, it does bounce. We'll see why it is such a great problem later. For now, I believe there is something we have to show off, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, here is water and we did get the Rush Marine. I'll just press right here and... Wait, what, what do I have selected right now? Rush, you're turning into what? And nothing happens when I push the B button? I wonder, I wonder... Let's just push upward and, yeah, get the Rush Marine! This is uh, the only optional part where you can reuse Rush Marine. There is exactly three parts where you can use it and two of them are mandatory. Um, it's, of course, really great to do so here because there is absolutely no challenge involved. The only problem you have, if you run out of weapon energy, you will die. Because then the Rush Marine vanishes and you fall down to the pit. Other than that, it can also function outside of the water, but you cannot turn around in it, which cost me a life. Well, thankfully this was just a demo. As is this, because, yeah, well, you wouldn't expect me to have an entire video with just one or two topspin usages, wouldn't you? Because, as we all know, we embos are weak to topspin. You can also twirl the rockets out of existence, but this... Um, doesn't really matter because if they're shooting between the platforms, they won't hit you anyway. I hope you think the music is appropriate for this little dance and also marine action because they're pirates after all. Yep. And no, uh, not death again. So now, uh, another thing to show off here. What happens if we just ignore our mystery friend? Hey! Huh. This is the second way to show off his whole theme. And it's a rather nifty glitch. Can avoid wait time here. But as you might notice, after his theme played, the stage music won't start up again. We're in complete silence now. And it's going to stay so until we reach the boss doors and the boss music starts to play. And one other thing, the penguin graphics don't load correctly. Yeah, and they can do a real number on you and shadow blades don't really help because you edge ever so slightly forward with each shot. As shown here. Now this was a very long episode, I hope I could keep you entertained. This was Simon with Let's Play Mega Man 3 and thank you very much for your attention.